Next, it's time to assess and caress with Donald Osborne. If you love classic cars, then Donald loves you. We're back once again with our appraiser, Donald Osborne. Now, through your emails and the comments and whatnot, people want to know, how do you actually assess a car? And that's what you're going to do for us today with this particular model. Isn't that correct? Exactly, Jake. Take us through the process. OK. Let's meet the owner. Yeah. This is Steve Hoffman. Steve, come on in. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Good, good to see you. I've known Steve for years. Tell us about the history of this car. The car was a one-owner car purchased new in Pasadena and was sitting out in the desert. What was the car? $3,000? Yeah. Was? What attracted you to the Tiger? The legend. Growing up, I had heard about this amazing British car with a Ford V8 in it, and it kind of stuck with me. This is the V8 version of the British Alpine sports car, which first came to the market back in 1953. And of course, to sell cars, manufacturers also needed a competitive edge. The best way to do that? was to have your car win a race. Hence the expression, win on Sunday, sell on Monday. So in 1963, they got Carroll Shelby to drop a Ford V8 into their Alpine, just like he did with the AC Cobra. Thus, the Sunbeam Tiger was born. There was a movie star in James Bond movies before the DB5. And also Princess Grace. In 1955, a Mark I starred in To Catch a Thief. Right. One of the things that I do, after I inspect the car, I take lots of pictures, and I have a checklist that I do on site, and I rate it on a scale of excellent to poor. I look at the panel fit, and the panel fit on this is good. The interior is really nicely done. The seats are done in the correct vinyl. The instruments are superb. I love seeing the original steering wheel. This is a very minor point, that the carpet on the tunnel is actually different than the carpet that's on the mats. <laughs> I thought we had it all. I really did. <laughs> the engine compartment is very well finished and dry. One of the things that I do look for is evidence of leaks and surface corrosion, things like that. It's riding on more modern tires than you would typically see with this car. My preference is for a car of this age to have a more round shoulder tire because it really does change the handling characteristics of the car a bit. But for a car that's driven, it's fine. Indeed. The last three things are really interesting, and they can make a big difference in terms of the valuation. Historical interest, preservation, and provenance. Historical interest, this gets very good because it's the last Mark 1A built before they went to the Mark II with the 289 engine. Right. Now, the first Mark II would be a bigger bump in value than right. the last Mark 1A, but nonetheless, it's interesting. And in terms of preservation, it's been restored. It's a very good, correct restoration to a very high driver level. And provenance is excellent. We're looking at the second owner of the car. Right. So we've known where the car has been all this life, and that really helps a lot. And this is a restoration done by a guy with three kids. It shows you what you can do with a little determination and not a ton of cash. Because we, we show a lot of cars on this show that are million-dollar cars. But I like cars that average guys can work on in their garage, and that's what this is. What do you think? the car is worth. That's been a matter of some debate in the household. I always figured it was somewhere in the optimistically seventy to $80,000 range. Seventy to $80,000 range. I don't know how far off the mark I am. All right, let's go now to our professional appraiser. Donald? This and more after a brief message from our sponsors. Camaro Z28, official pace car of the Indy 500. What else would you expect from the country that invented rock and roll? For more cool cars, go to jlonesgarage.cnbc.com. The kids got it, I tell you. <laughs> Thursday, Jay hits the track with superhero Chris Evans. This will impress your idiot friends. Nah, we've been driving like this since high school. Jay Leno's Garage, all new Thursday at 10. CNBC, get yours. The first survivor of Alzheimer's disease is out there. And the Alzheimer's Association is going to make it happen. But we won't get there without you. Join the fight with the Alzheimer's Association. Now, T-Mobile has unlimited for the rest of us. Unlimited ways to be you. 
unlimited ways to share with others. Unlimited ways to live for the moment. All for as low as 30 bucks a line. Unlimited for you, for them, for all. Get unlimited for as low as 30 bucks per line for four lines at T-Mobile. Need a change of scenery? The Kayak Explore tool shows you the places you can fly in your budget, so you can be confident you're getting the most bang for your buck. Aloha. Kayak, search one and done. Insurance that won't replace the full value of your new car? You're better off throwing your money right into the harbor. Hmm, gonna regret that. With Liberty Mutual New Car Replacement, we'll replace the full value of your car. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Have you smelled this litter? No. Nobody has. It's unscented. Tidy Cat's free and clean unscented. Powerful odor control with activated charcoal. Free of dyes, free of fragrances. Tidy Cat's free and clean. When no sense makes sense. I'm Emma. I'm Claire. And, and we're, we're the, the Salmon, Salmon Sisters. Sisters. We run our business from the boat. It's a really small space. This new surface goes the perfect size. Go, I love having something that I can hold in my hand. We're proud of this way of life. We're proud of the work we're doing. Go, baby, go, go. Welcome. So what do you look for in a vehicle? Dependability is top on my list. Well, then here's some vehicles that deliver on that. Oh, jeez. That's our truck. They're our cars. Chevy's the only brand to have earned J.D. Power Dependability Awards across cars, trucks, and SUVs three years in a row. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this 2018 Chevy Equinox LT all-wheel drive for around $199 a month. Visit your New England Chevy dealer. Have you noticed your earrings aren't sitting upright? Introducing Magic Max, the beauty breakthrough designed to instantly lift and support your earrings. Just replace any earring back with Magic Max. The easy lift heart shaped design supports your earring against your earlobe. Slide onto any earring post. They'll instantly sit more upright. Make all your earrings look better for as low as $19.99. Call right now and we'll send you a second pair absolutely free. We'll also send a storage case. So call or go online now. We are minutes away from this glorious holiday. Tonight, we celebrate because we made this country great. Let the fun begin! It's purge night. Anything goes. And we're back with Donald Osborne. Now, before Donald gives us his appraisal, you initially paid three thousand dollars for the car. Yes. How much do you have in it? I would put it at about fifty. And your wife thinks you have how much in it? Uh, probably closer to thirty. So, you've got about fifty thousand dollars in the car. You think that it's worth somewhere around seventy or eighty? Yeah, that's about right. You're a bit off. My replacement value comparable value conclusion for this car is one hundred twelve thousand dollars. Wow. My wife will be happy. That's my living. Donald Osborne saving marriages across America. That's right. With a little determination, this restoration turned out to be a real winner. But beyond determination, what does it take to win? Ah! How do you get that competitive edge? <laughs> they told me to do that. For some, it's having a winner's mentality. You've got these three and a half hour long races. The biggest thing is being able to think clearly. For others, means never giving up despite all the odds. If you can dream it, it can be done. But whether it's on a dirt bike. They're going to bump me, and I'm going to bump them back. A race car. I'm just thrilled.